Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF Europe. This is the second of two training tapes dealing with personal foul horse collar tackle. Today we're looking at examples where uh, a horse collar tackle was attempted but it didn't bring the runner down. It can still be illegal, but we'll have a look at some examples where it was illegal and some where it was not. But before we get to the game film, let's have a look at what the rulebook and the MOFO have to say on this. In the rulebook, we go to rule 9115 dealing with horse collar tackle. All players are prohibited from grabbing the inside back collar of the shoulder pad or jersey, the nameplate area of the jersey or above or the inside collar of the side of the shoulder pad or jersey and pulling the ball carrier or simulated ball carrier toward the ground. This does not apply to a ball carrier, including a potential forward passer who is inside the tackle box. Note that the tackle box disintegrates when the ball leaves it. And then there is an extra note that goes on to say it is not necessary for a player to pull the opponent completely to the ground in order for the act to be illegal. If the opponent's knees are buckled by the action, it is a foul even if he is not pulled completely to the ground. And in the MOFO, we go to uh, section 3.3, dealing at uh, number 15 deals with horse collar tackle. A. The two requirements for this to be called are that one, the defender grabs the collar or nameplate area and two, the ball carrier is pulled towards the ground. B, as with other safety related fouls, if in doubt as to whether it is a foul or not, call it. And finally C, however, just grabbing another part of the jersey and pulling a ball carrier down is not a foul. And that was the theory. Now let's have a look at some game film. The first few examples we're going to look at um, are big enough for a foul. So we're looking at, at grabbing the collar and pulling the runner towards the ground. And I think here we certainly have both, uh, both factors. So he's grabbed either at the collar or, or the jersey up around the nameplate area and he is pulled to the ground. So even though the, the tackle is unsuccessful, this is enough for a foul and, and was correctly called here. And, and remember um, from the rule book that it is enough to pull the runner towards the ground. You don't have to actually make the tackle, uh, which is a big difference from the AA, uh, NCAA rule where uh, the, the tackle has to be made. In the IFF rule, this is enough for a foul. Here, here's another attempted tackle. And you may, you may argue where are we in, in, in relation to the, uh, to the tackle box, but let's take that out of the, out of the equation. You certainly have a uh, grab uh, at the at the nameplate or the collar and the runner is if you look at his upper body certainly pulled back but the tackle is unsuccessful however according to IFAF rule this would be a horse collar tackle because he's grabbed and and he's pulled towards the ground we'll we'll get a better look on the end zone angle and from the end zone angle we can see how how severely the quarterback is pulled towards the ground. So you, you really get a good angle, pretty much the same angle as the referee has who, who does a good job of, of staying in, in position. You see the, the grab of the, of the collar and the pull towards the ground. So even though uh, the tackle is unsuccessful, this is a correct call for a personal foul horse collar tackle. Before we go to the legal place, here is one more example of a, an attempted tackle that turns into a, a personal foul horse collar tackle. Um, it certainly is obvious that the defender is grabbing uh, the jersey by the by the collar. It's not the the shoulder pad, but it is the jersey, and there's a, a clear grab. 
and you also see the runner's upper body is being pulled towards the ground. So this is this is enough. This is just enough for a personal foul horse collar tackle. In the last two examples, we still have the grab, uh, but we just don't have enough uh, pull towards the ground. We'll see the quarterback here. He gets grabbed by the jersey very clearly right there. It's very clearly either at the, 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 the collar or the nameplate area. Uh, so there's a clear grab. But if we look at his upper body, there just isn't enough. Uh, if you compare this to the previous one uh, on the kicking play, uh, the quarterback's upper body here just doesn't move enough for this to be a foul. So, so this is a legal play. In this last example, we have a, a similar situation where the runner is contacted from behind and there certainly is a, a grab of the jersey right there. He's got either the jersey or the, or the, uh, the shoulder pad. But if you look at the upper body of the receiver or the, the runner here, there really isn't any reaction. There's any, there isn't any uh, pull towards the ground. So even though he grabs the jersey, there is, there's no horse collar tackle attempt or the attempt is so poor that, that this ends up being a legal play. And that was this training tape. I hope it illustrated the, uh, the differences and I hope you found something you can use on the field.